What's up, Gemini? It's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Gem, aka Gem the Butterfly. And this is your September 2018 love reading. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone that's been liking, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Make sure you hit the little bell down there so you can get the notification for when I drop new material. So, well, let's go ahead. I've been shuffling and I've been meditating over your cards. I'm pulling four cards this month for Gemini um, to see what your love situation is, your challenge, your advice, and what the outcome will be if you take that advice. And then also, I just want to say to a little disclaimer that your love reading is could be anything. It could be about romantic love. It can be about, you know, the love that you have for yourself, your family, your work, your passions, whatever that, what have you. So, um, if it resonates, fine. If it doesn't, then, you know, hey, it just not so month to resonate with me. All right, guys. A couple more shuffles. Got the shuffle so you know it's real. Okay, that's your situation. <clears throat> You also how it just plopped out like that? And he's like, yeah, just placing it right on the table for you. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have coming in. All right. Your situation is the seven of wands in reverse. Your challenge is the emperor in reverse. Wow, your son, son is your advice. And wow, you have all four uh, reverse cards. Your outcome is the two of pentacles. You know, I feel like for some of you, you're ready to make a statement about something. With the seven of wands here in reverse, I feel like um, it's, I feel like you're ready to open up about, I don't know if it's how you feel or I feel like you're tired. Honestly, I need to bring this up a little bit. I feel like you're tired. Um, my hands are ashy. But anyway. I feel like you're tired. <laughs> okay. Um, you have really exhausted a lot of your energy. Now you still have a little bit to go because of course you're not a 10 yet, but with the, with the seven of wands in reverse, I do feel like, um, you kind of at your wits end and I want to know why, because what's coming in as your challenge is again, all of these, you have all of these cards, except for the sun, the sun, even in a, re a reverse, um, position is still a very good card but I feel like you've come to a revelation about something and it's just like whatever you're fighting for or whatever you're fighting against it, you're realizing that is it doesn't hold as much weight as it used to maybe it's still important but maybe I, I feel like for some of you 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 feel like you need to meet it with less resistance okay um let me see why what I need to clarify please the seven of wands yeah you're still breaking free eight of swords in reverse it's yeah i just feel like you guys are breaking free of some type of belief or and it feels self-imposed it doesn't feel like anything yeah you you realize you have options this month okay so what i'm feeling like for some of you if you've been focusing on one particular person or one particular situation and really devoting a lot of your time to that I don't see you guys really doing that this month. You're you're broadening your horizons. You and I feel like for some of you, you purposely closed yourself off to outside options, people, whatever, what have you, avenues, routes, whatever. Um, you you did it for whatever reason, but it's like maybe it's not going. I feel like maybe it's not going the way that you want it to, or maybe you just simply just had a change of heart. I mean, hell, we Gemini's. I know how it goes. So, you know, you could be on something one minute and the next minute, you're just like, you know what? It's not even a, like, fuck that previous situation, like you're done with it, but it's like, I'm going to leave you on hold over here while I go do something else. I'm going to get right back to you. There's no love loss, but I, I there's some, some other things you have to handle, okay? So that's your situation this month. Your challenge, again, with the emperor in reverse, and just loosening the reins. I, I feel like <laughs> where the, the emperor comes in is that side of you. You know, us Geminis, we have that two sides. and Actually, more than two, but y'all know what I mean. Um, there's a side of you that you feel like, yeah, I need to I need to move. I need to carry on, right? But then there's this other part of you, like you really don't, you want to hold on just for holding on sake, just to say that you have the power. So I feel like what the challenge is for you to let go of something, 
okay? You guys are pretty good. We are pretty good about detaching ourselves, especially emotionally and mentally. And here's your mental detachment card here. And we're just realizing that you have a little bit more power than what you give, mental power than what you give yourself to. And I feel like for some of you, um, y'all should just come in really quickly, actually, right now. I feel like for some of you, um, oh, I hope I didn't lose it. Wait, 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 wait. What was it? Um, I feel like you may be letting it go because shit, I lost it. Maybe it'll come up, but anyway, oh yeah, you realize that you're a little bit, you're more stronger than what you give yourself credit mentally. You know what I mean? So, um, let me get one more card for the emperor. You want, you want, you want things to go your way. That's all this is. I feel like something's not moving as fast as you want it, or it's not in the fat. It's not being presented in the fashion that you would like it to be. So it's just like you know what? I, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna put this like you got. You know how y'all do when you when you cook and you have something. You already make your pot of rice and you got something else cooking and whatever. You want everything to come out at the same time and you want everything to be hot. So you got to turn one of the pots down to let it simmer. So that's what you're doing. You're putting something or someone on simmer right now. It's okay. And you know what the thing about it is? Y'all so slick. <laughs> y'all so slick. They won't even know that they've been put on slimmer, honey. Some of, the, some of them motherfuckers put on warm. They're in the warming basket. <laughs> but whatever, right? And again, your advice. I feel like with the advice with the sun here is just to keep moving forward. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting the message to turn a blind eye to some things. Um, maybe it's, not, and that may be good for you, for those who are kind of split in where you are right now. There's no need to make a definitive decision about where you're going. Cause I feel like, especially at the beginning of the month, because I feel like by the end of the month, <sighs> You may just let everything go in the first place. Ain't it? You may just let everything go. Let me get... Yeah. Yeah, you got the food card chilling. You may just let everything go. It's Because this thing, whatever it is, like... Oh, whoa. 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 Are you still there? Whatever it is, I feel like... By the end of the month, if you don't see results, and that may be what it is too, like you're starting to get, you're starting to open yourself up to the possibility of knowing that you do have options because I feel like you're planning ahead a time. If it does not work out for you the way that you plan it, this is the challenge, okay? That you still want something the way you plan it. Y'all, I'm sorry, my house is cold. Let me cover that up. Excuse me. Um, if it doesn't work out the way you plan it, you're already planning to do, do, to do something else. Okay? You're starting the month off. The end, you're ending the month off with the full card. So I feel like you're ready to kind of throw the towel in, into something. It, it's Again, it's still placed on simmer. You're going to go and move on to do something else. Um, because after a while, I just feel like you just ain't going to be. It's just too much. Like I, I hear people saying, I cannot. I cannot. It's just, I cannot. <laughs> That's I may even name this video. I cannot because that's what I feel for you. Like you're trying to juggle all of these things. Whatever this is, it's, a, it's an emotional. There's an emotional component, of course, but there's also you have other you have external things going on in your life. And you're trying to juggle a lot, and if things don't get moving the way you want it to, some of you are just gonna say like, "Fuck it," you know. I'm just going by my business and. Whatever the situation is, it is it's going to have to catch up with me because I feel like a lot of you have slowed yourself down to accommodate this situation because of whatever, you know, you feel a sense of loyalty to it. But at the end of the day, yeah, you got to feel some loyalty to it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been trying to protect whatever it is. You see something. I feel like there's something sacred about it, actually, or special. But regardless, it's not that special to keep you fucked up in the head because that's what you had right here. The nine of swords and you know you you had i feel like all before you were kind of just worried about stuff you know things keep coming up you not going to sleep you're gonna by the end of the month you're gonna be resting better because whatever it is is what it what will be will be what will happen will happen i'm not worrying about the shit no more it is what it is and i feel like you're you're good with the decision either or either or so all right guys i love to see what's going to happen with you until next time i love you bye